everyone here's our recipe I'm gonna show you on how to uh, cook this uh, instant uh, lasagna I'm using the San Remo instant lasagna and here's our ingredients I have 900 grams of uh, pork mincemeat instead of a uh, beef I am using pork or you can use chicken two red onion because I am uh, using a double uh, recipe because I'm using two boxes of this one or two pack of this uh, San Remo instant lasagna so I make it double so I have uh, two red onion, three cloves of garlic, two carrot and two fresh tomato I'm, I'm going to chop this one a red onion, carrot and tomato or fresh tomato and of course I'm using Lego it's a pasta bake with a tomato ricotta and spinach and some uh, whipping cream I am using whipping cream instead of a uh, sour uh, cream cheese or it's uh, optional guys so I am using this one just half of this uh, whipping cream and I have a uh, four spoon of um, plain flour that uh, flour and four spoon of cooking oil and four cups of fresh milk I'm using this uh, fern leaf fresh milk from New Zealand and this uh, bigger cheese half of this one I'm using 125 grams of this uh, cream cheese and of course without this uh, our peppercorn seed and pepper powder and I have our four cups of water and of course our grated uh, freshly grated parmesan cheese and this one I'm going to uh, grate this one guys and I have chicken cube one chicken cube okay now let's start cooking now guys remember our ingredients Here's how I chop my carrot. You slice first and then you chop it. Right here. And our two red onion and three cloves of garlic. And uh, two fresh tomato. I'm going to chop this one too. Okay, and here's our chopped carrot and red onion, cloves of garlic, and fresh tomato. And it's ready, guys. I'm going to um, cook our meat sauce. Okay, and here's the method of how to cook our meat sauce for this uh, lasagna. And first, Heat oil in a saucepan. Heat oil or four spoon of cooking oil. I'm using four spoon of cooking oil and our two onion, red onion, and finely chop. It's here. Make sure it's hot. Okay, here's our red onion and our garlic and our garlic too. And we cook the onion and garlic until soft and after this one Look at this guys. Okay, after that one, I'm gonna add our 900 grams of uh, pork mincemeat. 
It's optional if you want a beef or a chicken. I'm sorry, we want to uh, eat beef. I'm using pork. And cook until brown. Okay, I'm going to add our tomato and our carrot together. Um, uh, tomato paste. I'm using this one or this tomato paste with ricotta and spinach, the Lego, a Lego brand here. Uh, I'm using this half of this one. Find it will. and add our chicken cube. Chicken cube and add our water, four cups of water. I add four cups of uh, water and season with salt, pepper, or uh, nutmeg. But it's optional. I don't. Uh, I want to use a nutmeg. It's only crushed pepper and pepper powder. And cover and cook gently for about 20 minutes. And we season with uh, crushed pepper. About uh, half teaspoon of crushed paper and it's the same amount, half of paper powder. And stir, keep on stirring. Okay, and over and cook gently for about 20 minutes. This is how I cook our meat sauce. Okay guys, it's here. I'm going to uh, make our cheese uh, sauce. It's here. Melt the butter in a separate saucepan. Okay, it's here our four spoon of butter and this one we stir with our four spoon of uh, plain flour with a butter and I'm gonna add our four spoon of, of uh, plain flour stir this one Look at that, guys. Stir in the flour and cook for two minutes. Oh, 
for a gently heat. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna add our milk. Four cups of milk. Look at that. And I stir until a uh, thick. Keep on stirring. Stir in milk. Okay, and here's guys while I'm stirring our cheese sauce. And here's our meat sauce. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh, it's hot. Wow, it's really. It's like I think it's uh, another. Uh, 10 minutes to dry this, uh, this sauce. And the other side, our cheese sauce. And here, guys, our meat sauce is ready. And I'm gonna add a uh, two spoon of our cream it's a uh, whipping cream to spoon it's optional but I want my meat sauce to have flavor of this That's optional, it's up to you. And here's our cheese cream. And cheese cream is a cheese sauce, sorry. And it's really, it's thick and smooth now. And I'm going to add our cheese. It's a cheddar. No, it's not a cheese. Oh, it's a cream cheese. It's a bigger. Okay. And our. Uh, Grated uh, parmesan off the fire. And it's really our cheese sauce. Okay guys, and it's ready. Here's our lasagna sheets. And make sure you spray some of this one to grease this one and to spray or apply some uh, cooking oil or whatever you have. And first is to preheat our oven. It's already preheated into 180 degrees Celsius. And for one cup of this one, our meat sauce 
see this for it and next alternately or alternate layers of lasagna sheets meat and cheese sauces ending with a cheese sauce layer okay here make sure you do it like this <laughs> next our cheese sauce okay Just pour it just a bit of our cheese sauce. Okay, and it's here. We alternate the layers of lasagna, meat, and cheese sauces, ending with cheese sauce layer. And it's here. Our lasagna. Okay, and we repeat again. And here our meat sauce. It's a one cup of our meat sauce. I'm using a Michelin cup. And I'm done guys and last we sprinkle some uh, grated parmesan and we bake this one for 30 to 45 minutes and it's really looks yummy now Here's my parmesan freshly grated. And it's ready to bake. And it's here. Okay, 40 minutes we bake this one. And it is ready guys, it's already cooked, it's here our lasagna, wow it's here so yummy, it smells yummy guys, my San Remo instant lasagna, it's time to eat. Can't wait to try our lasagna. I'm using this. Ooh, good! <laughs> so yummy! And here's another piece. Wow, look at this. Ooh. And I can't wait to try our lasagna, San Remo lasagna. It's here. Look at this. So yummy. So yummy. Can't wait to try this one. And it's hot.
And thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time. And thanks again for watching guys and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. See you next time.